Sometimes I get complaints from M1 and M2 MacBook users that Audacity is not working well. During the making of this video, Audacity 3.2.1 is the latest, and I am using an M1-based MacBook. This one is a 2021 model of an M1 MacBook Pro, and the thing shown in this video works for any silicon-based Mac. I am currently using macOS Monterey and will soon do an OS upgrade. For silicon-based Mac, the download process will be a bit different. We usually click on Download Audacity, and that is fine. A file automatically starts downloading based on the OS, and that causes a problem for M-based Macs. This file ending with x86 is a universal installation file that works for Macs other than M1 and M2. According to Audacity, it should work for any Mac, but practically it does not. You should cancel the download of this file and download another file manually. This ARM64 file is the one dedicated to M1 or M2 based Mac. You should download this file and install Audacity from it. So you see, the file name is different now. I have already downloaded this file, so cancelling the download. The installation process is like before, so I am not going into the details. You drag Audacity to Applications, and the installation will be done. If I open Audacity and set my recording devices, I am good to go. Today, I am using Audacity for the first time on this MacBook, which is working nicely for me. Some people complain the cursor is not updating smoothly during recording or playback. I have not faced such issues with the ARM-based installation file. Soon I will update macOS Ventura and let you know how Audacity works with that. Thanks for watching, and see you next!